All right, how's it going guys? Welcome back to another video. Today, we're gonna be drawing a gumball machine. Let's get going. Welcome back to another video, uh, Kindergarten. So today we're gonna be working on a gumball machine. So what you're gonna need is a paper, a pencil, and something to color with and something that's round, like a plate. Now I'm using a paper plate. If you have a real plate, uh, be very, very careful because it will uh, get ruined if you're not careful. But um, I have a paper plate, it's disposable. And what we're gonna do is you're gonna place it right on your paper. So make sure your paper is vertical just like this. And then what you're gonna do, you're not gonna put it right in the middle. You're going to put it a little bit, a little bit higher up, like right about there. And then all you're gonna do is trace it. So I'm just gonna take my drawing utensil and I'm gonna trace it just like this. And if it's not perfect, it's okay. I went off a little bit there, so it's not gonna be perfect, as you can see. Now, the only reason why I'm using a marker is because um, pencil doesn't really show that well on camera when it comes to these videos. So if I write down my name, Mr. Mill, it's really hard to see. So that's why I'm using in marker at the moment. Now, with that said, you need something that's straight, like a ruler. Uh, in my case, you can use a container like this. It has a straight edge like that. So what I'm gonna do, instead of going up and down my lines, I'm gonna make them tapered. They can go in them outwards a little bit. So I'm gonna go over here, and I'm gonna go towards the end of my page, like that. Other side and just like that all right now we have a proper gumball machine so now what i'm going to do is create the required parts that we need now with that said oh the first thing we need is something to insert money in so in order to insert money um i like to create a little slot right on top right here so sometimes you have to like make it if you want to make it three-dimensional you can just like that and then you need something to turn the knob to make the coin go in that way you can get the gumball from the inside so what i'm going to do is i'm going to draw a small little circle and then two rectangles opposite of each other so now the purpose of this lesson is to use different types of shapes so we just use a circle rectangles a little bit of nike swoosh and why don't we try something a little different why don't we try a laying down d and that'll create the opening for where your gumballs come out. Now, if you wanna make it more advanced, some people go like this, take a corner and just curve up, take the other corner and curve up as well. That way it looks kinda of like a slope or a ramp to make sure the gumball comes out that way. Now, another thing you wanna add is the top, so if you need to refill it, you can. So I'm gonna add two lines on top, just like this. And then I'm gonna add a couple dashes on top as well. So this is the lid, and then if you want to put a little ball on top or kind of like a rectangle or a square on top, you can. And add a little bit of lines that way, it's a little twisty top. And that way, whenever you need to refill it, you can open the top. Now, all we need left is the candy. So when you're doing round balls, you don't want to make it, you don't want to make them floating. Um, that's not what you want to do. What you want to do is start from the bottom and build your way up. So if I were to build this. Um, you can't really draw gumballs like this because gumballs don't go through each other like that. So they're solid, so what you're going to do, you're going to need to stack them. So I'm going to start on the bottom. If you have something small, like maybe like a glue stick cap you want to trace or like a coin or a quarter you want to trace, you can do that. I'm just going to freehand it so we save some time. So I'm going to start on the bottom. Maybe I'll start with my first one here. And then since I'm trying to go up, I'm going to try to imagine my next one will probably be my, most likely right there. Another one right there. So if I were to drop a gumball from the top opening, when it's open, it will probably fall and sit right over here. The next one will probably sit right here. And so on. So I'm going to keep going. Making sure I kind of guess where the gumballs would go. I'm pretty sure it would stack up kind of like this, kind of. pretty sure just like that and you want to do at least 10 or more so I'm gonna aim for probably about this many and I'll probably stop right there and I'll leave the rest of the area blank now with that section what I want to add one more there we go maybe this much <laughs> there you go I kind of like that look better anyways so I have one two three four five six seven 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. I have 17 gumballs on my machine. I'm only asking you guys to do 10. So if you want to do more than 10, that's fine. Now here comes the fun part. Now what you can do 
is you can have some fun here and maybe draw something that you like in each and every one of them. So for me, maybe I'll draw maybe like a Pokeball for one of them because I like Pokemon. Maybe I'll draw like uh, a lightning bolt because I like Harry Potter. Maybe I'll draw a dog a head on one of them because I like dogs. That's a terrible drawing of a dog, but I tried my best. <laughs> there you go. I tried. Maybe a dog. Um, what else can I do? I can also draw coffee. I like coffee. <laughs> Hopefully you guys don't draw coffee. I don't think coffee is good for you guys. Um, what I like to draw... Hmm. I like uh, I like Captain America. Maybe I'll draw like his shield, just like that. And then you're gonna go keep going until every circle is filled. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna keep going, and we'll see what I come up with. So let's keep going like now. Um, what else can I do? I could do hmm, Pikachu. I know I did Pokeball already, but I can still do some other Pokemon. Pikachu. Um, let's see. I like Disney. Draw the Mickey Mouse ears. And I could draw two of them right here. It doesn't have to be just one. And let's see. What else do I like? I like video games. Maybe a game controller. Just like this. Like that. Maybe my Nintendo Switch. I love my Nintendo Switch. go. What else can I draw? Hmm, I like art. Maybe I'll draw a paintbrush. Whoop! Draw a pencil or a crayon. Hmm. Oh! Camera! I had to do videos. Uh, YouTube. Hmm. I like my car. I have a cool car. And I like going on family trips. So there's that. Hmm, what else do I like? I like the beach. Beaches are always fun. And one more. Hmm, what can I draw? I like Christmas. Christmas is nice and cool. Not everyone celebrates it, but I do. There you go. So I got all my golden balls all done. All I gotta do now is decorate it any way you want. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take out some markers. Here we go. You can do crayons, it's fine too. And I'm gonna start coloring. I changed my mind. I want to add a little bit of crayon. So this so people know that this is glass. Right there. And I don't want to waste my blue marker. So I'd rather use it with crayon. And it kind of gives it this kind of cool texture instead. Just like this. Just like this. Making sure I'm staying inside the lines. If I go out of the lines, it's okay. I know it's not good to go out of the lines, but in my case, I think it's more of an artistic look. Kind of. All right, all that's left is the gumballs.
Okay. Oh, I'm almost done. <laughs> Never mind. Alright. <laughs> Alright, now I'm done. So, this is my finished product of my gumball machine. I hope your gumball machine turns out just as good as mine, if not better. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Or in the next go live session. So, anyways, that's it. Bye-bye. <laughs>